What are the best GPUs for mining right now? If you're looking to buy new or second hand, or if you already got a GPU and wondering how profitable will it be for crypto mining, well, at NiceAsh, I've kindly updated a page, a comprehensive page, full of a hundred, well, not about hundreds, but all of the main GPUs and the ranked in order of profitability. So first we've got the electricity cost, which is roughly for Americans, it's 0.1. If it was the UK, it'd be probably double that, 0.2 dollars per 20 cents per kilowatt hour for the UK. But for the US, it's 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So what's the best GPU if you wanted to get the best and maximize earnings? It'd have to be either, obviously, the RTX 3090 that costs at least $2,000, but $10, nearly $10 profit after electricity. So it's $10 times 31 days. That gives you $310 profit per day. Uh, month times 12 months <laughs> no wonder people have paid over two thousand dollars for a 39 okay so it's three and ten dollars profit per month and it say it costs twenty two hundred dollars how long before you break even so you would break even in just seven months you get your money back in seven months now for most you know even when even realizing you're gonna get your basically your money back they're gonna go for the unlikely to go for a 3090 most gamers out there will be trying to go for a 3080 an RTX 3080 so how long before that breaks even eight dollars roughly so it's a uh, well Official price is seven hundred dollars divided by eight divided by thirty one days three months obviously you can't get it that for that price but say it costs you a thousand dollars so it's one thousand divided by eight divided by thirty one four months can you imagine that the basically crypto mining will pay for the card in four months so they are the top two cards RTX 3090 and RTX 3080 what if you get something cheaper say let's move this out of the way yeah. for now. what about all right the new 6800 XT now, how much did that cost? Well, it's supposed to cost six hundred and fifty dollars. You know, and that is would earn you about five dollars a day. So it's five times. Call it thirty. Uh, what have I done here? It's five times thirty equals $150 per month $1800 per year that is a lot of money because that's basically covering the cost of three cards yeah. so definitely if you have a good if you're thinking about crypto mining now is the time and there are lots of cards out there that are good value for money if you can get them like the AMD 6800 XT 6800 that'll give you five dollars all of these around five dollars per obviously there'll be some variation depending on you know what under what load you see your computer is because obviously you're probably going to be using it at the same time as well unless you're just going to create a crypto mining rig then you have Say three or four cards in there but if you just want to use your desktop then there will be times when you will you know be under load use load or switch off whatever so it'll be 
maybe a, a dollar less than what it states here depending on usage but nevertheless this is a good guide to tell you which cards to get and how to save your money and make money you know even this 2080 ti that used to be 1100 dollars i don't know what it sells for now 2080 ti ti <laughs> Buy it now. That's expensive. Fifty thirteen hundred dollars. Roughly twelve hundred to fourteen hundred dollars. So how long before that will pay for itself? Fourteen hundred dollars. Twelve eighty Ti. Yeah, it's five dollars a day. So it'll pay for it in about nine months. That's a 2080 Ti. The best value for money card is the 3060 Ti. You know, it's supposed to be $400, but it's another $5 a day profit card. It's better than the 3070, in fact. Right. It's cheaper. So it's supposed to be $400. Let's see how much it actually sells for. 3060 Ti. $150 profit per month 30 60 ti how much can you actually get it for that's that's ridiculous these are ridiculous prices let's see what they actually sold for sold for prices $500 someone got lucky 1250 1250 800 so it's going to be pot luck if you're lucky you'll get it for 500 dollars uh, else you're going to be looking to pay 785 say it's 785 dollars at 150 dollars per month 750 divided by 150 five months if you pay top dollar that's the that's probably the looking here that's probably the best value for money because you should be able to get it for five hundred dollars 3070 that's going to be more expensive but it's similar mining performance i would go for the 3060 ti over the 370 yeah. no it's more ex daft prices Cost nearly double. Well, if you've got something older, an RTX 3080, there are the drops. Then, what's well, 3.84? 3.84 times 30.5 is 117 dollars per month. Now, how much does a 30 2080 cost? Wow. There must be something wrong with that one. Oh yeah, buy it now. Can't be sixty dollars. Let's see what's typical selling. Six hundred. Uh, still sells for quite a lot. If you can get it for five hundred, let's say five hundred dollars. Uh, five hundred. By the way, hundred and seventeen. Four months pay for itself if you want to get a second hand one or if you've got already got an existing one in it. if you already got it then you basically will pay for itself in four and a half months but if you want to get a second hand I wouldn't basically I wouldn't get these older cards second hand they're mostly if you already got them then use them like the GTX 1080s that, Key thing is, even all these old cars like the 1080 Ti, the 2070 Super, and all that, they all make over a hundred dollars profit per month. The 2060 Super over one hundred dollars per month. I'm sure some of these cars will be selling for a low price. Even the 1660, what's well, 250? 1660. That, you know, that's about uh, 1660 is about $200 card in it. Uh, 
76 dollars how much is the 1660 ti let's see it's got to be a daft price but let's see anyway 1660 ti three hundred dollars some of it is roughly Three to four hundred dollars. So call it four hundred. Uh, divided by seventy-six. Four hundred divided by seventy-six. Five months. So if you've got an old card in your system, you can basically get it to pay for itself in four to five months. I see something ancient. Let's go all the way down to it. Oh, this is nothing there. Uh, 36 cents for a GTX 970. Let's see how much is that. It's not really worth it, is it? $11, not worth it. Not worth loss of experience in using the computer. So you can forget. Basically, what would be the minimum that you should aim for for upgrading? Like the TI 130. Is that good enough? Forty dollars a month. Personally, I wouldn't do it for that. Times twelve. Still nearly five hundred dollars a year. Personally, I wouldn't bother. I would rather go out and buy a new GPU. You want at least to make a hundred dollars per month. So 100 divided by 30.5. So I would at least aim for 100. So three, three dollars upwards cards. So that's basically it. the RTX. Well, again, we're back to the RTX 3060 and the 1080. All these cards, but these are some of these are expensive old ones like 2080 Super. All these will give you over a hundred dollars profit per month, and the newer cards, the 30. This is why the 3060 Ti is so good. Compare that to the 3060. 3060 is three dollars, yeah. 3060 Ti, well, that's because of the thing in it. Is that because they've crippled the drivers, uh, crippled the mining, but it's still profitable. <laughs> you can still make. Nvidia is supposed to have crippled this card against being able to mine with it but three times it's still $91 per month you know the card costs around was it 320 divided by 91 pays for itself in four months what does it actually sell for RTX 3060 Yeah, so oof, stupid price, stupid, stupid prices. The crypto creator selling for more than double. That's is why you shouldn't. If you're thinking of crypto mining, you if if you get a 360, yeah, you can still make nearly hundred dollars per month. But obviously, I would not recommend getting a 360. I would get definitely get a 360 Ti. The TI is good for gaming and it's good for earning five dollars. That's a huge difference. That's hundred and fifty dollars per month. So if it costs you say seven hundred and fifty dollars divided by one fifty. Seven fifty about five months. Pay for itself in five months. Anyway, now you know what the best cards are right now for crypto mining now easy it is to make money obviously the best investment is the RTX 3090 which will earn you $300 per month pay for itself even if you pay say $2200 $300 per month pay for itself in seven months then it's all profit and obviously you got the card the cards still worth two thousand dollars for me 
for ordinary users, the 3080 is fine and it will, so if you can get it for thousand dollars and it would earn you not far off from uh, the, is it 800, it's eight times, oh, what's happened there? Eight times thirty point five, two hundred forty. Call it two hundred forty dollars per month, and it costs you say a thousand. Pay for it in just four months. There's no comparison, isn't it? So definitely get the thirty eighty to start going. I'm sure once you've got your first card, and you see how the profits coming in, you're gonna go out and buy more cards stuff them into your computer obviously then you're going to need to cool it you're going to need cooling solution and make sure you got a power supply that can supply so if you're configuring a system build for the potential for some mining and uh, i would make sure you get at least a 1000 watt supply at least that way you can you should be have enough capacity to to power to 3080s with it so don't scrimp on the power supply and also you're gonna need plenty of cooling maybe just leave the you know the sides off anyway now you know what the best cards are you know I'm definitely going going for the 3080 I would rate that as the best overall for ordinary users obviously the crypto mine is a go for the 39 38 they're only going for the whole lot the 3060 ti is the best value for money if your focus is crypto mining if your focus is processing power i.e gpu power and crypto mining as a secondary then it, i would go for the 3080 3090 yeah that's more for crypto professionals you're not gonna need that much for everyday use but the 3080 is the best overall of what I would what I'm getting in fact.